diese Güte. I took the opportunity the other day on the two of the three recirculation pumps, number one on the left, number two in the middle. They are adjustable to a certain extent. They're AC pumps. They don't have an app or anything like that, but they can be turned down just a little bit. And so whilst I was giving the back a good clean, uh, I got my arm in there, so there could be some hairy bits floating around for quite a while on the throat, because you can't do this with gloves on. And uh, totally by feel, I managed to find the control and turned it down as far as it would go. And it turns the whole pump down, I think, by about a quarter. It's not a massive amount. So I turned pumps one and two down by a quarter, or as much as they would go, to reduce the flow somewhat over this side. And it's still got relatively good flow. If I need to tweak it just a little bit, I will uh, lift it up a little bit. But at the moment, at least, the frog spawn here is easy if not being blown quite as much, although it still is being blown. Goniopora. Looks like there are lots of new little heads trying to come out there. So, so far, so good. Gold stem torch above. And the gold torch there. And I didn't want too much flow over it, so it's been blasted rather than being able to just move gently. top to give him some more light. He's opening more up there, I think. A little bit more, not a great deal, but you can actually see him. Well, I can see him a lot better now. Moving in the flow, which is nice. And that's the uh, papaya clove there. And another zoa. Green tip torch. Closes up a little bit when bubble scrubbing starts, so he'll open up a little bit more. Encrusting. A couple of zoas up there. Dreadfully tiny heads. A bit of red grotty algae at the back. He gets brushed off and he comes back. So the uh, hermit crab not up there at the moment. Another encrusting, if ever. Another clove, I gave him a damn good scrub yesterday. There's so much froth on him, I thought I'm gonna just have to do it. Gave him a scrub, he's still sulky. That's the rest of the polyps there. Clove, green clove, lovely. And that white patch there was the gold stem tree. There he is, he's there now, stuck in place. Not looking too happy at the moment, and I don't blame him with my big fingers. There's a bit of damage, unfortunately, because the 
the stem is so short and I was trying to glue him in place. There a garden down here. There we go. Hope you've enjoyed this one and thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.